Okay, Shalom, I'm Israel. All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings to the elect out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. All right, risking your life to do so. I'm the brother Shaman of Great Millstone, Chicago. Wanted to jump right in. This is Sirach 11 and 6. It says, Many mighty men have been greatly disgraced at the honorable delivered into other men's hands and um oh gotta read verse five many kings have sat down upon the ground and one that was never thought of have worn the crown and when i think of that scripture i think of the, the scripture that says uh i've seen servants on horses i've seen you know princes uh walking basically you know, which uh, being on a horse, that was a, that was a status symbol. You know, being a, an equestrian means you're of a certain class. Um, you know, basically, a, a prince, you know, is always going to be on a horse. A servant is going to be found walking. You know, now that scripture just talking about basically Esau, Edom, and how he's been given uh, the seat of rulership over us, and we've been made in the service. All right, but um, in this particular scripture, because um, the scriptures say prosperity, prosperity and adversity of the Lord, and adver prosperity and adversity of, are of the Lord. Excuse me, and uh, we're coming to that times where adversity is about to increase, and I just wanted to bring out a couple of precepts on uh, what our mindset should be in dealing with these different situations, because. Some situations you're gonna have to take an L. Now you're gonna have to take the L. You're gonna have to um, use wisdom. You're gonna have to use subtility. All right, like Jeremiah, he had to he had to go into Babylon too, but uh, the guard looked out for him. You know, the men of the Lord are always taken care of. Like the scriptures say, I've never seen them. Never seen the righteous begging for bread. But you might be in a situation that's not all the the the, the greatest all of the, of the greatest status. You know? Like it says, uh one that uh, many kings have sat down upon the ground. You know? Sometimes you get sat down, man, you get you get ticked out of your position, and that's what happened. We were taken down. We have, we've been brought low, but now, you know, we're on, we're on march back up. All right, like it says in verse six, many mighty men have been greatly disgraced, and uh, you know they have different little media teams. They got little cover stories. They got people like vocab. They got all that stuff already. You know, dossiers or whatever you want to call it. They have bullshit accounts uh, already prepared compilations and all that you know and they know that we're telling the truth but they're going to try to come with that angle to um try to try to make it look evil you know the agents gonna make their move everybody gonna do what they do but um the important part is <clears throat> to not get emotional you know to keep keep your mind sharp all right to keep fortitude you know, to never get bitter because it's not the first time. Right? It ain't the first time. Even us being here is a punishment. You know, different parts of our punishment, you receive, you know, different parts of mercy. You might. You got some some men, you know, they're here in America. They're doing pretty good. You got some people, they, you know, they ain't doing good. All right, prosperity and adversity of the Lord. That's why we continue to pray for mercy and continue to pray, um, you know, the Lord to, 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 to keep us in these times, right? to guide us, to give us that wisdom and all the little extras in the, you know, you, you want all that, man. You want every piece of extra credit <laughs> that you could get, you know, here's another one. This is, um, numbers of Salaki. That's what I want. Wisdom of Solomon 15 and one. Because the Heavenly Father is long-suffering. He could have been took Esau, eat him down. But 
he could have not <laughs> allowed them to in rulership. You know, we always talk about Hannibal Barker and, and uh, how they actually marched into Rome. We talk about all these different spots where Esau's kingdom was shaky and then they were allowed to continue to go and keep winning. And that's all through the Lord. The Lord has kept this man in power. Right. And uh, the scriptures talk about, you know, when your, your friends and your family hate on you, turn on you. You know, that's a part of it. You know, you got to be ready for that, too. You know, you got to be ready for anything. Right. The Heavenly Father's long suffering, wisdom of Solomon 15 and 1. But thou, O power, art gracious and true, long suffering and mercy ordering all things. And that's the thing you keep seeing through the scriptures, long suffering. You know, dealing with a situation and, and this is annoying. This is it's really annoying for us to wake up every day and be under this man's kingdom and have to see all of the bullshit and with watchmen say so you gotta see a lot of shit and be like, man, this this shit is crazy. I'm tired of this place. I'm fucking through, you know, all these different emotions and shit. And continue to march on, right? Because the scriptures talk about this being a walk. You know, this is a this is a march. All right. Um, this is Numbers fourteen and eighteen. The Lord is long suffering and of great mercy. And that's another thing you see too. Mercy. Mercy is going to be shown to 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 the Lord's servants. All right, but everybody who knows that they're Israelite is not necessarily going to receive mercy. Now, I'm going to get a scripture that supports that. It says, forgiving iniquity and transgression and by no means clearing the guilty. Uh huh. Visiting the iniquities, those who are truly guilty. Because right, we've all committed sin. We all are worthy of death. But you have those who are truly guilty. Right, by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. So you have to pay for your former sins too. You have to pay for your former sins. Now a lot of that, a lot of times that be why you have to go through what you go have to go through, even if you don't understand it. All right, but the wisdom has presented itself. You know, if you're listening to this lesson, that you understand that. Whatever situation, whatever, I, I got to deal with it. You know, and then Jake wants to go into this, don't, this isn't fair. And, hey, fair is not in the scriptures in that context. You know, a fair day, a fair maiden. But there is no fair where you get what you want, how, exactly how you want it. That's not how it works. The judgment of the Lord is perfect. All right. These are the different things that, that these are the different uh, characteristics we should have. Galatians 5 and 22. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering. You know, it's a certain peace. You know, it's a reason why we say peace unto you. There's a certain peace that the men of the Lord possess. You know, whatever happens. <clears throat> I know you. How was I know. His angels, they're going to come back and they're going to raise holy hell and his people are going to be free. We know that. And Esau is going to be taken down. Long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. Faith, very important. Meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. All right, and that's why, where is it at? Where's the one? It tells you 2 Timothy 4 or 2. Preach the word, be instant in season and out of season, which that could mean, you know, when it's cold, when it's hot, whatever. But that's also talking about when times are good and when times are bad. Times are good, and bad, you know, times you don't always feel like getting up and, 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 and teaching. All right, this is negative degrees outside. Niggas want to argue about bullshit and. 
Sometimes you want to fall back. I reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. There's long suffering again. Romans 9. And 20. He said, Nay, but, O oh man, who art thou that replies against the Most High? Shall the thing form, say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Hath not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one, honor, one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? What if the Most High willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. Uh, you have a lot of lot of men who are fitted for destruction. Uh, the scriptures say what? One one third uh, uh, talks about one third of men talking about the sons of the wicked. They're going to be put out. And anybody clumped in with them. Right, it's just a, it's just a, just 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 a, just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. Now, whatever they rail against you, whatever situation, you, you know, you know they're gonna lie, they're gonna do all kind of stuff. Hey, the scriptures tell us the Lord is gonna put the Spirit on us to know what to say, to confound them, so they can't. <laughs> there's gonna be nothing they can say. They're going to have to lie. They're going to have to make something up. Do some AI bullshit. All right, but we know what it is, man. And, the, hey, the angels give an account. The Lord knows. The Lord can see you, Esau. He can see all your moves. Verse 23. And that he might... Make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory. Even us, whom he hath called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. Right, the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy. You have vessels of wrath fitted for destruction. You have vessels who are going to receive mercy. Right, Hebrews 12 and... 15 it says what well, looking diligently lest any man fail of the grace of the most high lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you and thereby many be defiled you get bitter I'm tired of this Man, I'm sick of this I'm tired of you know we want to get us the, the best quality of workmanship possible. Lest there be any fornicator or preferring person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. Going back to 2 Timothy 4, it said in verse 1, it said, What? I charge thee therefore before uh, the Most High and the Lord Yahweh Shabbat who shall judge the quick and the dead at the appearing, at his appearing and at his kingdom. So the quick and the dead are going to be judged, those who knew and those who didn't know. All right? It's going to be with perfect judgment. You know, and, and for those who are who are quickened, you know, we want that mercy too. We want to make sure that we're enduring and we're doing everything that we're supposed to be doing. You know, and having the right mindset, having the right thoughts, because your thoughts can get you in trouble as well. You know, and whatever is influencing your thoughts, whatever music or whatever habits you might have, you know, you have to you have to change that, man. You have to 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 to, di to discipline yourself. You know, understand yourself. The heart muses upon many things, but shit, uh, you know, 
the wisdom, knowledge, knowledge, and understanding should should uh, it should shape that. You should be able to cut those wicked thoughts. You should be able to cut those thoughts of doubt and and and, and foolishness. You know, but that's all I had, man. It's important, man. We got to continue to stay focused, man. This Hebrew 12, the whole chapter is 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 on is fiery. And yeah, we're being chastened, but the Lord got us. And that's the lesson. Shalom to the elect.